Hello and welcome to Victoriana. Um, we're just a few days into June now, uh, actually quite a few days in. Uh, yet again we've been very very busy uh, and we've been trying to play catch up here, there and everywhere. Uh, thankfully we're up to date on all our mail order dispatches now, uh, which is a good thing to be. And um, we've actually had our poly tunnel extended. This is our veg tunnel which has basically been doubled in size. Uh, the guys who did that were a little bit late on doing that as well because they're playing catch up. Um, so we've literally only just moved the tomatoes in and um, I'm now in the process of tidying them up and getting them side shooted which is quite a mammoth task because they've been squashed quite together and uh, a little bit neglected. Um, but also elsewhere on the nursery we're also very busy and um, trying to get caught up all round so I'll give you a quick run round. So despite the nighttime temperatures, which um, up until even last week have been actually quite cold, uh, the flower area is starting to look quite cheerful. Uh, sweet peas have decided to start growing and clambering, uh, the lupins are obviously flowering well and um, some of the poppies are coming into flower as well now. And um, we've also started planting some later things like uh, sunflowers etc and um, way over there, way too far to go and find. Um, begonias etc so uh, yeah really pretty and, and starting to cheer up nicely so out here on the veg garden while we've actually got quite a lot of crops in um, we need to catch up on the tidying up and the hoeing down the rows and thinning etc which uh, finally we're managing to make some progress on uh, crops wise we've got artichokes coming out of our ears uh, over in the brassica cage we're sharing that with the strawberries because they were in the tunnel but obviously with the tunnel being taken down etc we needed to keep them somewhere from the birds and um, over here the Jerusalem artichokes are growing away nicely uh, so we'll be able to lift those come the autumn and uh, finally Simon has got round to uh, putting in the new herb beds restoring the herb beds and uh, now it's just a case of replanting so I think we've just about pulled everything out that we don't want and uh, we can start afresh so uh, all going well out here we just need some nice dry weather so that we can have long days working out here and, and we will catch up here in the frame area uh, we're nice and straight it's that time of year where we have crops running through quite quickly so it's a case of keeping up and tidying up and blocking back up and then obviously moving out the, the freshly grown crops from under glass and uh, it's a sort of constant battle to keep everything where we want but um, we seem to be on top at the moment. Here in the top house we have masses underway. Uh, we've got uh, fresh asparagus over there that's grown away. That'll obviously be a crop for next year. Uh, lots and lots of other smaller batches of perennials and uh, one or two veg as well and things like our creeping thyme lawn etc. Um, one thing we do need to deal with quite soon are our sweet corn. Now nighttime temperatures were cold so we prefer to pot them on and grow them on under glass rather than planting them out and let them languish uh, and some of these will actually also end up in the tunnel as well so that's more or less a job for tomorrow because now things are warmed up outside and overnight um, they want to get their feet in the ground and grow away as quickly as they can so yeah no we're pretty full up here pretty chocker and uh, as always things are constantly on the move here in the bubble well, we're still pretty full uh, these are all the chilies that are going to go into the polytunnel once we've sorted out the tomatoes uh, we've still got the bush tomatoes to sort as well um, but as always the fuchsia house is pretty full obviously with fuchsias but uh, we're continuing to prick out and use the space in here before moving things up to the top greenhouse because it has literally only been the last week 10 days that it hasn't been that chilly but uh, yeah, no, so we're pretty full and now we're quite happy with the chilies they're finally grown away quite nicely uh, now things are a bit warmer and just look forward to moving them very soon so I'll finish off this month's clip up here in the orchard, which uh, if you consider has only been planted just over a year, uh, is looking rather splendid. I think we're actually going to see a little bit of fruit here and there on one of the two of the trees. Obviously we've got a bit of summer pruning to do later on, um, but no, very very happy with how this is established and uh, it's going to make a lovely spot for part of our chilli festival as well. So uh, that's it really for June, hopefully a bit more time in July for a, a bit of a longer clip and uh, Hopefully we'll be a bit more advanced here, there and everywhere.